Hi, welcome back. So in this video, we're going to create a board and explore some of the tools in Miro. OK, so jumping back into our dashboard, I'm going to come up here to this section and click on new board. And now that loads me a new board in Miro, it's given me some of the templates to use. But for now, I'm just going to close those and let's have a look on the left hand side. So clicking on the logo takes us back to our boards. This is an untitled document, so let's change that. So test document. And you can give it a description. It tells you who's created it. That's great. So if I click off that, that renames that. Click on settings. So we've got board settings. So we can star the board, make a copy, can move it to a different area. Set the start view. So for example, if you have a really long flow that you're showcasing in Miro, click on set the start view, and this gives you the option to kind of show when people enter the file where they should start. So you might want to start here, so you've got lots of different steps over here, but you want people to start at this step. This is where this feature comes in handy. So I'm going to click on done. Let's go back to settings again. So we've got board history. So I'm guessing this is the different versions, the activity that's going on in the board. Let's go here. So this is delete. I'm guessing this deletes the file, which we're not going to do that. OK, so let's go into preferences. So we've got some navigation settings here, grid settings here. So we can change it to a dot grid or a line grid. We've got some alignment settings, scroll bars and object dimensions that you can turn on or off. We've got some shortcuts here. So any shortcuts that you want to have a look through, they're all documented here, which is really useful. So we have a follow option here. So let's have a look. You won't get notified about new replies on this board. OK, so yeah, if people reply on this board, you want to get notifications. So I've turned that on. So send to interactive display. I'm guessing this is where you can push this board onto a different screen. And if I go to profile settings, this just opens up my settings for my account on Miro. OK, so that's the settings. Let's have a look what else we have. We've got export the board, which we can export it in various different formats. We've got a search function up here with a filter. We've got app integrations. That's cool. So it can integrate with different programs. Uh, let's move over to here. OK, so clicking up here, we've got hide and show. We've got timer here. We've got voting, estimation, presentation mode, note mode. There's a lot more apps on here by the looks of it. But when clicking on these, we have to upgrade to actually use to actually use these features. I think the note feature works here. So that expands the right hand panel and you can add some notes as you're going along. And it's got some great templates here, so like a to-do list or a meeting agenda. Let's close that. And it also seems you can use the presentation mode as well. So that's good. Press escape to get out of that. Um, show collaborator cursors. So when you've got lots of different people in the document, you can see their mouse cursors hovering around the document. Or you can hide them. Reactions. So we've got thumbs up, heart fire. Let's have a go at a few of these. Brilliant. So they pop up at the bottom. Clicking here it shows you that it's my profile and it's labeled as guest. I'm the board owner. Also a really useful feature here. When you want to get everyone's attention, you can select bring everyone to me and that will bring everyone on the board to where your cursor is in the document. And there's also bring to me where you can click on this and select a certain person, maybe if they're lost in the document, you can select them and bring them to you. And clicking on feed, it gives us the notifications. Um, clicking on share here. So it gives us some different options here. We can enter the people's names, emails, or invite them from Slack or Gmail. We've got some settings here. So they can view, can comment, can edit. Um, we haven't set up a team access yet, but again, gives you some access levels there. And there's a copy team invite link here and there's get an embed code here. Okay, so we've covered 
these options along here and some of the options on the top right. Okay, so in the next video, we're going to look at this side menu here and experiment with some of the tools. So thanks for getting to the end of the video. Like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.